All right, folks, here we go. Bangthebook.com focused on college football line movements. Let's see what's going to shake this week for you. And we know that these numbers can steam so much more than the NFL. Always follow along on Twitter at Bang the Book and the sports betting podcast, Phenomenal Information at Bangthebook.com. College football. Listen, there's two teams I'm focused on this week that I think you got to go against. Akron is uh, at Western Michigan, who's laying 14. The total's from 56 up to 58 and a half. The other one is Buffalo, home to Northern Illinois, and Northern Illinois is three and a half up to four and a half. They played seven overtimes last week. 71-68 was the final. I mean, you would think both teams, Western Michigan and Buffalo, the air could be out of the balloon. And oh, by the way, keep an eye on Buffalo. Their backup quarterback has been playing lights out. He's better than their starter. And I, let's see if Buffalo, when Tyree Jackson gets healthy, if they go back to him, I think it would be a huge mistake. Uh, but Buffalo can now put points on the board through the air. They've been getting great play from their backup. But listen, both of these teams have to have a big letdown. It just stands to reason. After such, It was a wild game. It, it just wouldn't end. And uh, believe me, that should have a lasting impact on both those teams. Virginia at North Carolina. Uh, from three up to three and a half, four, Virginia's favored. The total's coming down, though, 55 down to 52. You can't trust North Carolina's offense. Brocko Mendenhall does a really good job, especially, uh, we always say it, on the defensive side of the football. How about Michigan? Will the air be out of the balloon off a loss to Michigan State? Plus, it's a physical game whenever you play the Spartans. Seven-point favorites on the road at Indiana in a Big Ten game. Boston College, Louisville. Now, what's going to give here? you got defense meets offense, and right now, the total's 57. It's slightly down to 56 and a half. Uh, you know, but this Louisville team, 19 and a half. The steam is on Louisville. It's up to 22. Again, another letdown spot. We get sandwich games, look aheads. You know, you got to pay attention to these things. But Florida State was an eight-point favorite. It's down to seven on the road at Duke, uh, and they're coming off that rivalry game against Miami, and that's another kind of situation that could have a lasting effect. Uh, let's go to UNLV and Air Force. You want another letdown spot? Let me give it to you. And that's Air Force. Played a bitter rival game. Obviously, the Military Academy games. And it was an incredible shootout. Air Force came back and almost beat Navy and fell just short. And then you wonder how they you know, get back up to play another game. Uh, UNLV, uh, you know, they, they run hot and cold. They're very hard to trust. But the one thing is they do have a running game uh, that can actually keep them in game. And their defense occasionally forces some turnovers. So the number's coming in UNLV's favor. Uh, in Pac-12 game, we get a favorite switch in hand. Arizona was a two-point favorite. It's over to UCLA. The Bruins, a uh, one-point favorite now. Uh, one thing that's uh, certain, points. The total on that game is 79. Then Navy is at Memphis. Memphis is three and a half. Navy can be a public team at times. People do trust them. Uh, but three and a half is that number, and it's minus 10, 15 cents, so it may not get the three. And again, does Navy have a letdown off the game with Air Force? Maryland uh, is a home dog to Northwestern. Northwestern's three and a half on the road. The total's going up. Maryland can score their defense forces turnovers too, but they're coming off a game with Ohio State. So they were in the deep end of the pool. Now they come home against Northwestern. We'll see if the Terps are alive there. And here's another one. Uh, by the way, if... If you had Utah, congratulations to you. If you had Stanford, you had to be sick to your stomach. They had the game one minus three and a half at Utah. Twice on fourth down, they took personal fouls and kept the meaningless drive alive that resulted in the backdoor cover. Uh, but it's offense versus defense, and this total's coming down. So uh, in a way, you can maybe think that there'll be even some movement Stanford's way as well because they're siding with the defense on the total, 61 and a half down to 58 and a half in the Pac-12 game, Oregon and Stanford. Always trying to dissect the numbers, keep you ahead of the curve. Glad to do it for you in Vegas. I'm Brian Blessing here in our radio studio, gearing up for Sportsbook Radio and Vegas Hockey Hotline. Always follow along on Twitter at Bang the Book in the Sports Betting Podcast. Great information. Best, best, of, best of luck. Best of luck. This is Las Vegas.